Hello Inventors, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create CAPTCHA app using MIT App Inventor. So let's start the project. So click on Start New Project and name is CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA New App and then OK. So that's our first screen. So we're going to use here one layout. In the left side, you'll find the layout option and make sure choose the horizontal arrangement, this one. OK, and make this with this fill parent like this. Now we're going to use here one more layout and that is vertical arrangement, this one. And make sure this one is the width and the height is the fill parent like this. And drag and drop that horizontal arrangement under the vertical arrangement like this. Now click on user interface and drag and drop your one button and drag and drop one text box like this. Okay. Now submit capture like this and uh, make sure click on this. Make sure in the center align should be the center like this. You can design that button to something. We need to use your one more button. So we'll just copy and paste this button. And that button name is regenerate capture, regenerate. Now that's the second button that will regenerate the capture. Now, so we need to use here one extension, go to the that link. That is the capture to generate capture image. Okay. It's a free extension. I will give you that link in the description. So we need to download that extension. So it's the download direct link. So click on this. Go to the MIT App Inventor and go to the extension. Click on import extension and import that extension here and just click on import. Done. Just drag and drop that extension here. And now let's go to the block section. So whenever someone initialize the screen, it means whenever someone open our app. So like this, we will call that recapture. So just click on capture and as you can see, create layout. So drag and drop this here and in which layout we have to create our capture. So as you can see the layout, so I will choose that horizontal arrangement, click on this and drag and drop that horizontal arrangement here like this. Now, whenever someone click on the button one, it means whenever someone try to submit the capture. Okay. So we have to check that this captcha is right or wrong, right? So what I will do, I will just simply use here one thing, use the control, click on control. And as you can see, here's the if condition. So just drag and drop that if condition and click on CAPTCHA and as you can see it's the CAPTCHA code, this one, call this, click on that logic and see this one is equal, drag and drop this here, here and just drag and drop this CAPTCHA code here and here we need to put the text box one dot text. So just click on this and as you can see the text box one dot text is here. If the text box one dot text is equal to the CAPTCHA code, okay, maybe it maybe can it can be, you know, like a numeric or the alphabet, anything. If it's equal, then we will hide the horizontal arrangement. This one. Okay. Like we will hide this. So I will use their false. Else if the captcha is wrong, then we will display one message. Okay. The captcha is wrong. Something. Else we will display one message. So go to the design section, user interface, and here you will find you can display their text. I will just remove the text from here or I will change that text color to the right. This should, should be look like a warning. Okay, like this. And I will remove that text from here like this. Go to the block and whenever the capture is wrong. So I will just display that text label one dot text set label this text as wrong capture use your text and then just drag and drop it here and just say wrong wrong capture like this okay now that's the overall thing so let me just try this this one is working fine or not but wait a second we have to do one thing it is important click on capture as you can see here there's an option to set capture image type okay this is important so i will just move it here like this okay like this and i will choose the type so click on the, the capture image and as you can see here here is the type type both you can choose the type number alphabet or something so i will choose that number like this done so it's done now let me just try this in my phone let me see how this will work okay so as you can see whenever we open our app so as you can see this one is the text we have to put so let me just put any something else like okay Suppose any wrong text and let's click on submit capture. 
see the wrong capture let me just try to put the you know the correct one is the seven eight four six five eight and click on submit capture it's done okay because uh, what we have done we have just hide that uh, you know layout so that's the overall app if you need any help on that so just comment in the video i'll try my best to solve your problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye